Uh, this is Professor Money Pig Trading. Today is March 27, 2021, a former PhD drug researcher, now a data scientist trader. Uh, today we want to talk about don't panic, Fed just bring a $120 billion helicopter uh, money to save the market. So I know in the past two weeks, the market has been very, very wild, right? Like it's a lot of sector rotation. You buy tech today, drop 3%. So, okay, industrial go up today. Let's buy industrial and then industrial drop tomorrow at 4%. And then your tech that you just sold uh, actually uh, up 3%. And just continuously up and down and a little bit of a downtrend. And then on Friday, we see a really bad uh, found rebalancing and had a really big uh, push up at the end. So what's going on? Uh, so basically what happens at the end of each month and at the end of each quarter, uh, we're seeing some weakness, especially at quarter end, there's a lot of found rebalancing that is causing a lot of this market sector rotation, um, etc. So the topic today is actually an extension of the previous video that we have made, and we'll put the link down there. Is the current market conditions very similar to uh, 2014, 2016, before the year uh, the rate being uh, increased? So feel free to check that video. Uh, today we want to talk about what happened on Fed uh, FOMC meeting minutes on March 17, 2021. They said clearly starting on March 18, 2021, they're going to increase $120 billion a month of liquidity injection. So that's uh, traditionally called helicopter money, right? And we didn't have a FOMC back to February. The last time we had it this uh, January 27. Uh, it's a little bit different because remember in the previous videos, we mentioned there was a bond crisis. The bond market is really afraid of inflation. And um, on uh, January 28, once uh, Fed said they're going to increase the liquidity injection, we're seeing the bond being sold off and making this 10-year treasury yield TNX to continue to go up until the 17 level, which we mentioned. It's about the current inflation level. And that's where we see the TNX start to stabilize, retest the daily EMA support, and I'll start to push back up a little bit, but probably will stabilize around 17. Uh, this week, there are a lot of uh, Federal Reserve uh, regional bank hats. They talk about uh, their opinions about the economy. A lot, of, a lot of them actually mentioned they're expecting the GDP growth this year will start to grow, uh, come back up very uh, strongly because of the COVID start to get content in the U.S. due to vaccine, etc., so uh, some of them are expecting that inflation will go back to 2% or even 2.2%. And uh, Wells Fargo, two weeks ago, they actually announced the report that the infl inflation will go up to 2.5% at the end of this year or early next year. So uh, Money Pick does consider like TNX could slowly going up like 2014, 2016 uh, to probably around 20 or even 22 level. And that could make the tech a little choppy down the road the same with SPY. Um, that's why we mentioned the previous video, energy, small cap, and finance will most likely continue and also value stock to outperform the growth stock and tech stocks. However, uh, if we look at the uh, most updated Fed SOMA balance, uh, which was updated last Thursday, um, and basically this is the uh, open market fundings that Fed Federal Reserve have has, and uh, that's how much they can put into the market, buy the bonds, and stabilize the market. Um, so basically looking at the chart on the left, this is probably one of the most important chart in the, if you are trading in the market. Uh, the red line is the Federal uh, Reserve SOMA balance. Uh, the unit is $10 billion. We can see in January 27, once they announced the FO, FOMC, they, we started to see this red line a little bit delayed, but started to pick up uh, in early February or mid-February. And we can see as soon as they said it, even though the TNX started to spike, we see a SPY actually move up about 20 points until mid-February. Uh, and then, because we know uh, this bank, so, uh, uh, Fat Soma, actually had a tendency to decrease at the end of each month. Um, so we see SPY actually pull back down. So we're probably expecting the same thing, is um, federal uh, Fat Soma will start to increase at some point in April and make a SPY a really big spike uh, in April for about well, two weeks. However, a little tricky thing right now is we know the month end, FATSOMA had a tendency to decrease their balance. And so far, based on the current data, we haven't seen uh, this happen yet. So that's why in my previous video I was referring to, we might see a further pullback because once Federal uh, Reserve increased the SOMA balance, we could see some weakness in SPY. But uh, it's possible that uh, that weakness had happened already in the past about a week and a half right? that we have seen. Um, I think last time in January, it was more straightforward, and that's why we actually entered a lot of swing trading position and got a pretty decent uh, revenues and profits. 
because last time they announced that they're going to increase the fat so much, it was on January 27. So that's the month end, and we have seen the decrease already. So it's pretty high confidence uh, that the spy will start to push back up. And we also saw that on January, uh, February 2nd, we see the golden uh, crossover, uh, the near-term EMA support uh, actually uh, cross the longer dated uh, EMA lines. And that's a really strong bullish line. And we see like SPY actually push up almost like um, 20 points in about like 10 trading days. And we're seeing the same thing in March now after the Friday strong closing. Uh, we're seeing the lines, uh, the uh, shorter term EMA lines start to cross over uh, longer term EMA lines. The TTM squeeze started to change its color. We're seeing decent volume over here. So possibly this could be a, a push out. But if we see the October data that we have uh, discussed in the last uh, video, you see the Federal Reserve actually uh, decreased the Fed's normal balance and makes by uh, pull back down uh, further, just like what we have seen uh, so far. Like now we're like here, the red line and black line start to cro um, uh, deviate from each other. And if we see the next Thursday, the fat soma start to decrease a little bit, we might see uh, spy further pull back to the uh, perhaps break the EMA support. Uh, but now the chart does look strong. So I think next week we we'll had to proceed with cautious. And the next next week, uh, we would have more confidence that yes, the fat soma, you know, helicopter money started coming, the market could behave pretty uh, significantly the, uh, to the upside. The other con uh, concern that we have to carefully monitor is uh, Yellen, I told the uh, Money Pick Trading community members, be careful be sh <laughs> when she gave a speech. She's super hawkish, and she didn't surprise us uh, this week, right? She, uh, on her um, onboarding meeting, basically she said, before infrastructure plan, uh, she plans to increase tax. And there are so many tax she uh, proposed to increase, and I list here from corporate tax, uh, personal income tax, uh, wealthy tax, capital gain tax, and trading tax, of, of course. There's just so many different taxes, uh, and each tax will have different support, and uh, you know people don't support it, and also they have different legalization uh, process. So it's really hard to say what will be realized and what cannot be realized before the infrastructure plan. Um, but it does seem like right now in the Democratic uh, con Congressional Party, uh, there seems to have some little con consensus. Of course, there are some uh, op opposition. Um, that they want to increase tax before infrastructure plan. So if that happens, the infrastructure plan originally was planned to be released in April or May, that could make the tax increase happen than anyone uh, would in anticipate it, uh, which we all in anticipated to happen in 2022. If it happens so early, like April or March uh, and May, it could pull down the market quite a bit. And as we can see, the corporate tax saving actually boosts the tag in 2017 to 2018. This is QQQ, uh, which is a tag uh, ETF. And tag actually put uh, go up about 90% after this uh, tax corporate tax cut. Uh, I don't think um, the, the QQQ or SPY will pull down to this 2017-18 level since a lot of earn, uh, corporate earnings has greatly improved, uh, the same as the economy growth and GDP and the technology as well. So if the really uh, the tax increase happened like in April or May, effective as 2021, especially on the corporate tax, I do expect the whole market to pull back down, uh, have a little correction from 10 to 30 percent. But I don't think it will be a total collapse of the market since the Federal Reserve is increasing the uh, Fed's normal balance to support the market. Uh, that's the topic today. So basically, the conclusion is uh, we should expect at some point in April there will be a week or at least two uh, of a um, you know, rip your face off rally, and uh, and then we have to carefully monitor the tax increase news and the policy. Uh, so just want to highlight, we have a really decent uh, 2020 long-term investment program on Discord. Feel free to check out on our moneypicktrading.com with a really decent winning rate and good average uh, return per trade. Mm -hmm. And we also have a really decent swing trading program, which mostly uh, focus on option trading. Uh, if you are in interested, feel free to check our website. And if you haven't followed us on Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram, uh, they're all Money Pick Trading. Uh, our Discord community is run uh, on Discord, and the details are filled by Money Pick Trading. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.